this is the second section on the uh, uh, Poisson distributions chapter and now we're going to start to use the uh, Poisson distribution to help us solve some problems now we did that with the binomial distribution um, but we realized in questions where we had the binomial distribution so when the random variable was binomial distributed with um, n and p there needed to be um, fixed number of trials fixed number of trials um, we needed to have a probability of success or failure, uh, which was fixed. Probability P fixed. You basically had to have two outcomes, either success or failure. The probabilities needed to be independent. Okay, there may have been one or two others, but that was our binomial. Yeah, and there were certain types of problems we could solve with that. Poisson is different. We solve different types of problems when our random variable is distributed with the Poisson distribution. You'll notice that there's only uh, one uh, parameter, lambda. So we don't have fixed number of trials or probability of um, success. But what we do have our rules are going to be that this is for problems where things happen like randomly in time or space so it may be um uh, i don't know errors on an internet line it might be scam phone calls or spam emails things that don't happen in clusters where groups of them all happen at the same time but they're they're sort of spread out um, singly in space or time. So that's this bit here. They need to be independent, just like binomial as well, which basically means, well, if if one of these th events happens, it's not affected by the event happening again. So it's independent. And they also need to happen at some sort of constant rate. So if you're getting spam emails sort of occur randomly you need to be able to say well maybe on average you get three a day yeah but at a constant rate not at a rate where you get loads all of a sudden and then you don't get any for a long period of time so when we talk about uh things happen at a constant rate it means that they they need to happen you know roughly an average um, of a certain value and because these things happen um, at a constant rate you can multiply up there's some proportion here so for example if you did get spam emails at an average rate of three per day you could then work out well you would expect um, on 10 days to get 30 spam emails. You would also expect that maybe in half a day, you would expect one and a half spam emails if there is such a thing as half an email. But you get the point, you can multiply up, you can scale up and scale down. Yeah, so using a Poisson distribution, is for different types of questions. So as I said, maybe spam emails, um, errors on a broadband line. Um, it might be uh, looking at a piece of cloth and maybe there's some bits in the cloth where there's like some errors in the stitching, that type of thing. So that's in space. Um, yeah, that type of thing. Right, so here we go. An internet service provider has a large number of users uh, regularly connecting to the internet. On average, so here's our average, here's our rate. Four users every hour fail to connect to the internet. Okay, so let's write that down. Um, four failures 
per hour. Okay, so if I'm going to make lambda equal to four, the rate of things happen, that's going to be per hour. So I could find per half hour, per two hours by scaling that up and down. Give two reasons why a Poisson distribution might be a suitable model for the number of file connections. Well, um, these connections, they uh, connections or failures to connect, really, um, they happen singularly. Yeah. So uh, uh, failures happen singly or in single singly I don't know is that how you spell it singly it looks like someone's singing but they, yeah they happen um, uh, in in single events uh, we could talk about them being independent the probability of you failing is is independent from failing another time and the other thing is that they, they happen at a constant rate yeah and they happen at a constant rate of four per hour, constant rate of four per hour. So here I've given three reasons. We only needed two. Independence happens singly in time and space and they happen at con constant rates. So that's part A. Part B, find the probability that in a randomly chosen hour, okay, so we'd expect four to happen in an hour, two users fail to connect on their first attempt, right? So this is where we start to use the uh, notation and the probability that we did in the first section. So what we have here is a Poisson distribution where it happens at four, and I need to put here that this is per hour, just in case you want to scale it up or down. And we want to find the probability um, that exactly two users fail to connect so you can see here where all the notation and working comes in so because it's equal to two i could use the formula or i can go to a poisson pd variable and do x equal to two and lambda equal to four and get to four decimal places the probability is 0.4 decimal place 1, 4, 6, 5, 1, 4, 6, 5. So about 14.65% um, is going to be exactly two users failing on their first attempt. Part B or part two of B, more than six users. OK, so there, we want the probability that it's more than six users. Now, does it say six or more? No. So does this include six? No. So it's more than six users. So that's going to be one minus the probability that x is less than or equal to six, because we want to find a probability of like seven, eight, nine, ten, so on. So that's going to be one minus. So I press AC. X now becomes all oh right. Now I want to press. If I press Option OPTN. I can then change my calculator to binomial um, CD, which is, which is what I want this time, because I want the probability up to six. Um, so X is going to be six. Lambda is still four. So it's one minus uh, 0 0.8893. So let's go back to calculator. And do that. It's often useful to have two calculators, one where you can just do the calculations on, and one where you can just work things out. Um, so that gives me 0 0.1107. And then part C, find a probability in a randomly chosen. All oh, right, can you see now it says a 90 minute period? Right now, if there's four failures per hour, in one and a half hours, there's going to be four times 1.5, six failures. So lambda equals six, and this is per 90 minutes. 
Yeah, so now we're going to use lambda equals six. So first part of the question, uh, Poisson distribution with lambda equals six. So we expect six failures in 90 minutes. So notice how we can scale this up and scale it down if we need to. The probability that exactly five users fail to connect. So I would go back, press the OPTN button on my um, calculator. So I can go back to Poisson PD, number two, on a variable, X is five, lambda is six. So I get naught point one six zero six. And the last bit here, um, it's still six failures in a 90 minute period, fewer than seven users. Now it doesn't say seven or less, fewer than seven is going to be that less than seven does not include seven which is basically the probability up to six now we can't use the less than six we worked out before because we had a different value for lambda so I press ac uh, x will be six lambda is six and we get um, Oh, I'm on the wrong one. I'm on press on PD. I wonder why I've got the same answer. So if I press OPTN, get back to the menu, press on CD. Almost gave you the wrong answer there. X6, lambda 6. All right, here we go. 0 0.6063 would be the probability. Okay, so you should now be able to do this exercise, exercise 2C, pages 24 to 27. And it, this is basically just taking a worded question and using it, um, the Poisson distribution to answer that question.